Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Antimatter Chemistry. And last week we ended up making iron. Yep, did we? Let's have a look. Yes, we ended up making iron. This week we're going to make the auto magic, the, the, the liquefier. That's what we were going to do with the, with the ultimate goal of making water. And we want to progress towards getting the storage system because you get everything that you need to make a storage system, which is absolutely brilliant. And before I start, um, I want to say hi to the new subscribers. I've had a, gro a surge in subscribers, which is brilliant. And also, um, thanks to Merlin O'Shea, who said to look under FTB to get the um, the hot the hot key to open the quest book because I was looking for it last week, didn't see it, and they mentioned try looking under FTB. So if we go FTB quests, so if we go to controls, if I put category and type FTB, yes, open quests right now. It has none. So, um, ore excavation. Hold on, yeah. Ore exca no, ore excavation is in this. Let's have a look. Is the minus key taken? Key? Yeah. Minus? No, the minus key is not taken. So, category FTB. Oh, I keep forgetting. Click the thing. FTB. Open quest. Click on it. Hit minus. Oh, that. I just checked that. I honestly just checked that. All right, let's go back in. Options. Controls. Show conflicts. There you go. Zoom out for journey map. Well, we can we can take that out. Done, done. Back to game. So now, when I hit the minus key, I'll get the quest book. So thank you, Merlin, for pointing that out to me. Um, right. So I was supposed to do stuff in between, and totally didn't because real life has a habit of getting in the way. I mean, like really pesky real life gets in the way. So the next thing we needed to do was to make a bucket. And we can do that. Um, did I use up all my iron? I didn't use all the iron, did I? I can't believe... Oh, okay. Alright, 46. Let's take those all out. And to make... Let's see. To make one piece of iron in the chemical combiner we need 16 16 um of these things i can't think of what it is target did i save iron under this no i didn't all right let's save iron if i hold that there and press a yes oh so it works here too i thought it was just on this side where you can see them but it works here too if you press a it will bookmark it okay move items that's what we want we get two really are you really going to do this to me i did i mean i did go mining i did get stuff or maybe i just went mining and got the 48 I think I went mining and just got the 48 that I needed to make the, um, the one needed for the quest. I need another sharpening kit. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to have to do some more mining and then come back to you guys when I have a couple of stacks worth of this stuff, whatever it is, antimatter. 
yeah because you really don't want to see me mining antimatter on camera that's like the most boring thing ever so i will be back in a minute okay i'm back um yeah after i went mining lots of i mean you you can see i've got a nice long pit here which I hope nothing spawns in because it's going to be longer than 20, what, the 26 blocks from spawn. Um, but yeah, I remembered I can make grey antimatter as opposed to light grey antimatter. And grey antimatter is, I've saved it, tungsten. White antimatter around tungsten gives you grey ant gray antimatter and that gives you more iron. So that's easier to make iron not in there I need it in the chemical combiner but that's just something to remember because I didn't at first okay right so we've got five pieces of iron which is good then we can make the bucket and we can check that off the list we get another iron sharpening kit and it was can you move out of the way thank you uh we need to make the liquefier so how do you make the liquefier i know we looked last time but i can't remember how you do it because you know how am i supposed to remember those kind of things liqui nope oh that was at the top isn't that hard isn't that what i had okay i hadn't I didn't have the extra thing. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve. We need twelve pieces of iron. We have two. Can you make iron from end can you make it from silicon dioxide or something? Let's see here. Uh, chemical dissolver. Atomizer? No. Can you not combine things? That's just from the dissolver. Iron oxide. These are all iron stuff. Cobble is a 0.5 chance of getting iron. That's no good. Obviously, if you have an iron ingot, you get back 16 iron, but we want to make more iron. Um, Grey antimatter. About just over half. Light grey antimatter is 22%, 23%. Yeah, so it's grey antimatter and light grey antimatter. Um, hmm. Well, let's see what we get from the stack that I have here. If not, I'm going to have to go off and do more mining. We have enough for two more pieces of iron. Just over two. So, yeah. I'm going to have to go and do... There must be easier ways to get stuff after this. Not even two. One piece of iron. Oh, it's because it's 16. So, yeah. Let's put that in there. And I will go back and do some more mining and get a couple more stacks of this stuff. I didn't think it was... Did it say that it was less grindy? So, I don't know. But I can't think of what can be more more grindy than having to dig out antimatter. There has to be an easier way to get this. But so far, I can't think of what that easy way might be. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six... seven eight i'm trying not to count on camera but i find it really hard not to <laughs> it's like if i'm doing something i need to count it out loud that was eight so we need to turn and go this way but um but yeah there has to be an easier way to get stuff maybe with when we get the liquefier that make things easy and they did say is it this one? I said set up crafting tables. I mean, I've got quite a few packs on the go at the moment. So it may have been this one where they were saying set up crafting tables. Those craft, crafting workbenches. 
and it makes life a lot easier for you. So we're going to have to look into that. Have I gone past the end? No, I think it's longer than this. But also, one thing I've noticed, you don't get any XP for mining this stuff. So, you know, I could be mining... I, I don't know if that's a glitch, or... Are we broken? We're broken. Um, let's use the iron one. Although, we don't need to use the iron one, I'm going to keep the iron one. I suspect I might need it for something. How do you make the stone sharpening kit? No. I need... No, other way around I think it was. Yeah, and that gives you the stone sharpening kit. Let's make five of those. And then we don't have to worry about having to keep going back and getting the ones we have in our thing. Thing? The chest. But yeah, you don't get any XP from um from mining. Although that being said, it does have the mod that levels up Tinker's Tools. So that you may have noticed... If I hover over my Tinker's Tools, it has XP 257 out of 1,000. And each level, you go a bit higher and a bit higher. Let's have a look at the iron one. The iron one, right, that has... I haven't used it yet. So the XP level is 500. And I think the XP is equivalent to each block that you mine. So I had mined 500 blocks with the stone pickups, pickaxe. So I had leveled up. And sometimes you get more modifiers... I don't know if that is a default for the for the mod or if it depends on whether they turn it on or something. It might be something you need to turn on in the configs. But when you level up, then you can add more modifiers to a tool. So maybe you're getting XP on your tools instead of getting XP on your hotbar. And how many was it? I stopped counting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we need to turn this way. And um, maybe they've done it that way because with Tinker's tools, you can add things onto them as if you were enchanting them. So seeing that you have Tinker's tools, you have no need for enchantments. So then you don't need the XP to make enchantments as you would in a vanilla game, if that makes sense. So maybe they've taken it out because of that. I don't know. I mean, that would make sense to me. But, um, but yeah, you don't get XP as you mine. Which, to be honest, I kind of miss. I like hearing the little ding when you, when you roll over. You know, when you use up your XP. I don't know. Let's jump and get you. How much do we have? We have a stack. Let's go and see. Oh no, we probably need more than a stack because we need... How many did I say we need? At least ten. And you're not guaranteed to get um, to get any returns. With the grey antimatter, it's twenty percent. With the dark grey antimatter, well, with the light grey, it's twenty percent. With the grey, it's about half. So really, I should be turning my my light grey. Not light grey, I should be turning the white into grey antimatter. But to do that you need tungsten, and I'm not sure how much tungsten I have. I'll have to go back and have a check. But let me just finish this line, and then we can go back and check and see how much iron there is. And then if I need to, I'll go off camera again, because I'm just here chatting with you guys. And um, passing the time. But if I need more, then I can go off camera and mine. But like I said, there must be an easier way to do this. But I will discover it. But I'm, I'm guessing once you finish the first page, you would have everything that you need in order to make your life in this mod pack a bit easier. Because they do say, we're going to take out the grind. 
and so far they haven't really taken out the grind but it's kind of fun at the moment so it's not too bad uh dissolver it's carbon we have nine tungsten okay have all that light gray let's see what we get with that all right not too bad 12 tungsten let's go over here and the tungsten white antimatter put no put that in the dissolver that was more than half at least you get back some tungsten from that carbon carbon oh we only have four and we have 42 Look, all of that just for five okay um can i see what i can get from silicon dioxide um chemical combiner all right can i all right this is what you can get from it so Oh, what was I? This came up some for something else. I can't remember what that was. All right, so you can use it to get quartz. So it's a main compare. Com oh, you can get sand from it. Okay, maybe I should have done this in the first episode and look and see. But my brain wasn't working properly. My brain works very slowly. You can get obsidian. We can get gravel. So depending on where you put your silicon dioxide. Oh. Um, I think andesite and diorite. You got some pretty good. Um, you got some pretty good. Unlock recipe. Returns with iron. Let's put that there. What do you get? Andesite. So if we make a stack of andesite, pause. Oh, that is pretty cool. Actually, that is quite cool. We need to make some more food in a minute. That's light grey. Where's the andesite? Eh, yeah, no. You don't get good returns. You probably get more with the light grey antimatter. You do. So yeah, that wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Ah, recipe. Right. Oh, resume. I forgot I'd paused it. Really? Okay. I'm going to go off. I'm going to do some more mining. And I will see you guys in... Well, at this rate, it feels like it's going to be in five hours. I'll see you. But for you, it won't be. So I will see you in a minute. Wait a minute, are those... They're stone pressure plates. I'm such an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, Yeah, I got 11 pieces of iron. Brilliant. And something told me, just double check. And I was looking at this and thinking, iron pressure plate. If I'd bothered to put my cursor over it, I would have seen stone pressure plate. So we only needed one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of iron. I know everybody must have been yelling at me because I don't see these things. I'm really sorry. So, yeah, that was a bit stupid. Stone pressure plate? Or do I need to... That's from stone smelting. Okay, um... I need two, two, four, six. All right, let's melt eight stone. We need some wood. But yeah, I can't believe, because there's me trying to get more stuff. And I'm thinking, yeah, I need to get more, um, need to get more iron. 
And then it suddenly occurred to me, wait a minute, those are stone pressure plates. They weren't all right, they weren't weighted pressure plates. So yeah, I am very silly. Did I leave out? No. Right. Furnace. Let's put put you there. And let's put you in there. Actually, let's see if we can make some charcoal. Is that going to burn? Yes, it is. I just need a piece of two pieces of charcoal actually. And that would work wonderfully. Another piece of charcoal, maybe? Yes? No? Great. Right, at some point I'm going to have to turn around and make make coal and stuff. I wonder if this has tiny coal in it. Tiny coal, shiny charcoal? No, it doesn't. Okay. Alright, so we can... I mean, we can put away all of this stuff. It's not going to put away... Oh, scandium. What's scandium? And aluminum oxides. Alright, let's put you two down in this corner. And aluminium oxide. There's two pressure plates. We need two more. Take that out. Unlock the recipe. Put you back here. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be more organised. Trying to be organised in terms of my inventory and such, because I am very disorganised when it comes to my inventory. Do we not have any more saplings? Yes, we do. How many? We have thirty-seven. That's fine. Right, let's put you two back to grow. Uh, what was I doing? Smelting. Take you out. I only needed three. Don't need the button. Liquefier. And there you go. Automatic liquefaction. Well, let's put that on top there. We need to put some more bread. Do we have any bread? Nope. It's a culinary generator. The apples are put back in one. I only wanted to put back in one. Right. Because a culinary generator means you can put in any kind of food. Um, bread is better. Because, yeah, you're going to get 9,000 RF for f per 15, sec 15 seconds. That's 30 32 RF per tick. Yeah, see, I sound like I know what I'm talking about. 32 RF per tick. I know that's the important bit. So, apples only give you 32 RF per tick. Bread will give you 40. Uh, what was that one that had 64? Cooked pork chops, golden apples, um, so bread and fish it looks like, bread and salmon, cooked fish, cooked salmon, so cooked fish and bread are the good ones, cooked chicken, potato, anything that's cooked is better, okay we'll get there though, we will get there. Um, let's get some more bread made up. Uh, we have one. Is that? Yeah, that is. So bread is always good. So what do we do with this? Show recipes. Oh. So eight water. We get you f five miller buckets of water. How do you get the water out? Do you just... Let's have a look. We get our bucket. Did we have... 
water you need no combiner which is self-explanatory water h2o so two hydrogen to one oxygen will give you one water molecule i think that's the word i wanted molecule so let's take out a stack of you and a stack of you a stack of hydrogen a stack of oxygen so then wait a minute you need to get water to get water we'd have to put it in the chemical combiner right so water and we want the liquid thing the liquid tab um Is there not? We don't have the chemical combiner across the top. Okay, why not? Oh, this one. Our chemistry. So the chemical combiner. Click on move items to lock the recipe. Two of those. So we should end up with 32 oxygen left. And we probably don't need all of this because it said to it's it did say you should make a um an infinite water source which we will i think over here next to the sand but well, not next to next to because if i move the sand then all the water will rush out okay so we have this Okay, 500 out of 10, all right, so that is, yes, I feel like I've accomplished something, this is, this is not bad, all right, so we have, uh, Okay, so all of that only just got us two buckets anyway. But that's fine. That's all we needed. Right, let's check the book. We need to collect for that. So we get a task screen, toasted bread, and furnace generator. Okay, which one? What's a task screen? Let's have a look. I have no idea what that is. A three by three task screen, that's what it was, right? So what does that do? Um do we set it down this Oh FTB quests? Is it like a huge TV type thing? Okay, um... Can I make like... Can I reach? No. No, that's not gonna work. Uh, they put down the furnace. But what does this no it has to be no <sighs> that's it so if i what no okay i can leave that there for now i'll work out what to do with it it's an FTB quest thing. And I mean, it's got a seamless texture, so I'm guessing it... I don't know. I don't know. Right. I'll work it out. Um, so we got the water. Uh, 
And what do we do? We need 10, 10 buckets of water. Oh, shift right click the task screen with an empty hand to set this target to this quest so that you can submit fluids. All right, empty hand, shift right click. All right, shift right click. Oh, okay. Uh, task. Okay. I'll Right, I see. Oh my, that that is that's interesting. Oh, should I should have put it next to the um. Can I move it? Just took that out. Don't know where it went. I'm hoping it went there. Right, let's put you there. Task, um, 10 buckets of water. No, 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 no. Task, didn't I not pick 10 buckets of water? All right, there you go. And, oh, that is, that is good. I am liking this. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Okay. So we've done that. And we get two iron sharpening kits. High, wa high tech water. What? High tech water vaporizing technology. Make four evaporators. Okay. How do you make an evaporator? And I've got caps on as usual. Stone, more stone. So we need two pieces of stone. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, so we need ten pieces of cobble. We've got eight. Yep, let's put this in. Let's knock you down so we can get some more. We can make some more charcoal. Let's put some. Oh, this is toasted bread. That's 48 RF per tick, and that's 40. Okay, that's better. I think I may have. Did I lose it when I took this down? I don't think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, we're not taking them down then. Because it says, it did say you can use a pickaxe, but it went. So we're not, we're not moving them. That's staying right where it is. Okay. Um, stone, right, how many? Oh, it says we need four though. It did say four, right? We need four, so we need more cobble. We need another furnace. And that can go. Um, we need another sapling. And let's shift our way backwards and forwards to get this to grow. Kind of, I kind of wish the twerking mod was in this. I prefer twerking. It's a lot easier than shifting backwards and forwards. But I'm pretty sure if I just hold down shift, it will still work. Right, let's get you guys down. So we've got some more planks. Um, do we have all of our stone? We have all of our stone. We have charcoal. Can I burn logs? Yes, I can. 
Um, right, we need two, four, six, eight. We need five pressure plates. Now we need more. Th my math is wrong, isn't it? We need the ten just for the stone, just for the pressure plates. And then we needed two. Yeah, my math is totally wrong, as usual. All right, cobble is chemical combiner. Oh, silica silicon dioxide will give you two cobble. Okay, that works because we have loads of silicon dioxide. Let's get a stack of you. Combiner, unlock recipe, we should have, right. Um, A, no, yes. Yeah, that should work. Okay, so that's going. Let's take you out. I need... Eight and four's twelve. Right, let's burn two stacks of you. So what do, can we get the water out of this? No, it's just so that you can get your to um, submit tasks. Okay. Let's put some trees back. I should make some more dirt. Did I make dirt? I can't remember. It seems like it was ages ago that I actually did the first episode. Are you not fully? Yes, you are fully grown. Why are you not? You're fully grown. Let's move you out of the way. Let's get an empty hand. I don't know why it wouldn't. Why it wouldn't click it? Because they're fully grown. Right, six. Let's see how much cobble we can get out of that. Do we have cobble in here? I didn't know I didn't put any cobble in here. Um, yeah, I should. A bit silent at the moment while I'm trying to transfer, transfer, transfer stuff. Stone two there. Right, so that's seven plates. That would be enough to give us one. It's two evaporators. And we need one more. One, two, three and two pieces of stone and we have four evaporators and that gives us world domination with open books never used open book open blocks and for the storage system at the present ftb quests have no way have no at the present, FTB quests have no way to have quest paths that exclude other quests or choice output groups. There is no way for me to let you choose either AE2 or RSO uh, take everything. Brilliant. So we have finished the first chapter. We have everything we need to make. What? No? 
No, that's not what I wanted. This one. <laughs> that's what I wanted. Close. So we have everything. And what's the next chapter? Chapter 2. The Tears of Gamers. Mineral Salt. Okay. And how do we do that? We're not going to start that today. But let's just have a look. Mineral Salt. Water. In the evaporator. Okay, let's put down an evaporator. Does it need RF? I hope it doesn't. Over here is going to be our water corner. And we want a bucket. Okay, we fill that up. Okay, oh, and okay. So you can right click on it. Okay, not bad. And what do you need? And you need 64 mineral salt. And this is making. So I think it said it wanted 125. Yeah, 125 buckets. Okay, so if we leave that going, in the next episode, we should have everything. So, colourful antimatter? You can make an orange antimatter. How on earth do you make orange antimatter? Antimatter. Okay, orange copper. To get copper, you need copper chloride and some other stuff. Oh, probably from. Ah, there you go, from the mineral salts. So, in the next episode, we are going to be playing with mineral salts and getting some colours. So, this week's been pretty productive. We have mined lots of things. We've made water, so we've got infinite water source. Um. And we've discovered that we can make colourful antimatter. And from the colourful antimatter, we can make more things. So, yeah, I think we've done pretty well. We've completed the first chapter. And um, that's, that's really good. So, actually, let's put them all down and put them all to work. So, while I'm putting them to work, I can tell you guys thanks very much for watching i hope you really like what's happened this week please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you in the next episode okay thanks for watching Bye bye